So I'll first uh, yield to uh, Senator Moran, and then we'll recognize. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you, and the ranking member. Um, I uh, only became acquainted with uh, Jeffrey Starks uh, in a short time ago, and I'm honored to be able to uh, express my support for him and his confirmation to this committee today. Uh, I am uh, uh, compelled to, to feel more comfortable in that decision by the presence of Emanuel Cleaver, whose judgment I trust greatly, uh, and uh, no more uh, hardworking, dedicated, and committed public servant uh, that I know of than uh, Emanuel. I'm delighted to welcome uh, Mr. Starks to the committee, uh, to welcome his family, and uh, uh, tell you that I had a solid discussion with him as we became acquainted. The reason that uh, this is important for me is that uh, Mr. Starks is a Kansan, uh, and upon his confirmation, there'll be two Kansans on the Federal Communications Commission, two at one time. We've only had three in the history of our state. Uh, and I am uh, proud that uh, another Kansan will serve uh, on the FCC upon Mr. Starks' confirmation. Um, in his current role, Mr. Starks has been the Assistant Bureau Chief at the FCC's Enforcement uh, Division. Mr. Starks uh, investigates unlawful conduct and, and enforces provisions of the Communications Act along with the Communications Rules and Orders. And prior to his service on the FCC, he served as senior counsel to the Deputy Attorney General at the U.S. Department of Justice. Uh, I appreciate very much his public service, uh, and it is evident. While I certainly understand that there are contentious issues uh, at the FCC, as the Chairman indicated, there has been at one point in time an attitude that I think made difficult for the FCC to appropriately function, and I am uh, fully expecting a Kansan to provide common sense and good judgment. Uh, as we work together in a bipartisan way to find meaningful uh, solutions uh, with his colleagues on the Commission and with Congress. If, uh, if my uh, impression of Mr. Starks was insufficient, if Emanuel Cleaver's presence in support of Mr. Starks is insufficient, I was finally compelled by uh, one of my constituents who wrote me on behalf of Mr. Starks' confirmation. Uh, she began her note to me by winning me over uh, it begins this way, uh, whether traveling uh, within the USA or internationally, my husband and I are proud to proclaim ourselves as Kansans. No offense, Emmanuel. <laughs> the economic opportunity, family-friendly communities, and exceptional education system that Kansas offers has afforded our family abundant blessings and achievements throughout the years. Currently, the point of her letter, now that she's won me over, currently, a major achievement finds our son, Jeffrey Adam Stark, nominated as a commissioner at the Federal Communications Commission. We are honored and proud of Jeffrey in, his tremendous in this tremendous opportunity. Jeffrey is an intelligent, caring, compassionate, and has an indefatigable work ethic. He always seeks the good and is keenly committed to public service. I would humbly ask that you favorably consider the candidacy of this native son. With gratitude, Janet M. Starks, Gregory C. Starks, M.D. Um, every son, every child hopes their mother can say those things about you, about them. And uh, I take uh, Mrs. Starks at her word, and I would ask my colleagues to uh, confirm uh, Mr. Starks uh, and allow him additional public service in a lifetime that's been committed to that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Moran. Uh, 